So as you're there in your folder, unzip folder, we're going to go into the INDD uh, folder. We're going to double click on that. And you should only see OTN typesending.indd, which is the file um, that we were working on um, before. Um, do use this file though, um, because Tim has um, made it, um, made a couple of changes just so uh, we are able to um, proceed through this uh, directly because the previous file was just sort of for typesetting purposes. So once you see this file, um, you can go ahead and double click on that um, and it should open InDesign. Uh, it might take a little bit, so I'll give, I'll give some time uh, for InDesign to uh, open up. Uh, this will be the only time that we'll, we'll need InDesign for now. Um, after this, uh, we'll be working outside of it. So um, I know InDesign tends to be a bit of a resource hog, so um, don't worry, we won't be uh, spending too much time in InDesign. I actually have to sign into my Creative Cloud. Okay. You'll get some pop-ups saying um, if you want to update links, don't update the links. You don't need to worry about that and you do not need to worry about the fonts either. So um, you can just hit okay to those and you'll see the InDesign file come up here. Okay. Once everybody has the file open in InDesign, um, if I can get another OK, that would be great. Perfect. Okay. Good. I got a couple OK, so I think we're we're good to go. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to just look at your um, InDesign file, but you're not looking for anything specific. Uh, you're not looking for uh, for errors or anything at this point because the typesetter this at this point should have gone through QC. It should be as good to go as it's going to be. You just want to look to it uh, through it to make sure. Uh, for example, that you have the right file, um, you know, that everything is as it should be. So we have our summaries, our goals, um, and everything else. Um, here we have our document. I'm scrolling through it quickly because as I said, we're just making sure that all our content um, is there. Um, you don't want to start this process and then find out later that you were working on a file file or something like that. Uh, so that's just a check to make sure. When you go up here to where it says scribe tools, Right, you have all the different options. We're not going to get into into these today because uh, Tim already described the ones that were for typesetting, and he went briefly over those. Uh, but that information is also available on the modules if you need them. What we're going to look for um, look under is where it says prepare for export. And then once you see that, you'll see that we have two options. We have export IDTT. Um, and we have export XML. Um, exporting IDTT is for when a file is not um, part of the well-formed document workflow. It wasn't typeset in the well-formed document uh, workflow. Um, we're not gonna talk about that kind of conversion because that will, um, will be a, a bit, um, will add too much to the time. However, um, if you do have a file, for example, you already have a file that's been designed and typeset and you're bringing it in, uh, please do let us know. Um, and we'll schedule some time so that way we can um, go over how to how to do this. Um, although, again, you can always give you know give those files to us and we can convert those uh, for you. So remember that that is always an option um, for you. So we're not going to be discussing converting using IDTT um, to SAM. We're going to actually be using export XML because our file um, it was typeset in the well-formed document workflow. Uh, you have two options. You can run all, which essentially will run everything that you see down here, and each one of these um, is described um, in the modules and on our website. Um, we can send you the link to that as well. Um, but these, each and every one of these um, does a, a specific task to sort of get the file into a state that when it exports, will be able to be ingested by the hub uh, without any issue, right? So you can run all using export XML or 
uh, run all export XML without page indicators. And that, just as it says, um, runs everything except um, adding the page indicators. You may ha want to do that if, for example, pages don't, um, don't matter. Um, but for example, if you have a file that you have an, an index and you want to keep sort of the, uh, the interactivity of the index where you can click on what would be a page locator and it goes to more or less where that page existed in the print file, uh, you'd want to run it with uh, page indicators. So we're going to go ahead um, and hit run all and export XML. And at this point, let me actually drag, I can't drag that, but it will give you a little status bar. Um, it'll do something funky to your file, so you'll see that everything sort of changed, but then you'll get this report at the end. Um, I should note that if um, you didn't have your DTD loaded or anything like that, it should have asked you um, where, um, where that was. Um, and so um, did anybody run into that issue where it says, um, you know, it won't continue until you load the, the DTD? I'll wait for a moment just to make sure we're all on the same page. Okay. So Abigail ran into that, into that. So I'll just go quickly over um, how to solve that issue. Okay. I sort of suspected that that might be an issue. So we'll close this here. And we don't need to worry about this now. So what you want to do to make sure that you can, you have your DTD, um, your SAM DTD um, selected, you want to go to, hold on. Nope. You want to go to um, our site. You want to go to um, well-formed document workflow downloads, if you haven't done this already. Uh, if you have, you can um, obviously skip this part. Um, and actually for this, you don't need to sign in, right? And there's um, the direct link. Tim has at, um, added that to the chat. And we're gonna download this file that says SML and SAM uh, DTDs. We're gonna go ahead and download that. It's gonna um, create this SML um, DTDs um, dot zip. We're going to go wherever that downloaded it. Um, for me, it goes straight to the downloads folder. Um, we're going to go ahead and extract that. I use 7-zip, but you can also just hit extract all if you do not have 7-zip available. Uh, it does the same thing. And that brings this up here. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to have our folder extracted and you'll see that you'll have sam.dtd and sml.dtd. We go back to InDesign and I'll actually just create that error for myself here. It should give you this uh, choose uh, folder when you click choose folder. Just navigate to where you downloaded um, your SML DTDs, find the SAM DTD and hit OK and then that should do it. Uh, once we are there, if I can get an okay, it should actually, after that, run the export all. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, so, now what you'll see, you'll have your, um, your InDesign file and you'll see that um, what was conditional text, which um, was invisible before, it was indicated by that little orange triangle um, as we described last class, um, you'll see here um, is actually visible. You'll see end chapter, begin chapter, and you'll see uh, things um, have shifted. That is okay. That is actually what we want, uh, but we don't need to worry about this file. You could um, and this is something that we do here at Scribe. We save this file um, and we call it EINDD for, um, you know, electronic uh, InDesign uh, document or I believe edited. Um, but you can save this file just so that you have it, uh, but we're not going to actually work with it. And just to save it, um, I'll just go in here, go to file. Let me actually do that again. File, save as. And then I just append EINDD to the end of it. 
just so that I have it there. It's nice to have the, the file if you need to, for example, if you need to export the XML again, you don't have to run um, everything all over again. All you need to do is just go to um, Scribe Tools, uh, prepare for export, and then export just the XML. So I'll go ahead and save here. And then once that's saved, I'll close out of InDesign and I won't need to worry about that again. And I'll go back here. And you'll see that what it created, it created this um, OTN typesetting.xml wherever the InDesign file um, existed. Um, so that's what you should have in your EINDD um, uh, folder. Okay. And I think before we jump into the hub, I think this is a good place to sort of pause um, and then uh, continue into, the, um, into our small break and then we'll come back and actually import this into um, the hub and continue with the conversion.